welcome to a brand new styling video so we are back in front of my mirror and um, I feel like this is kind of the routine that I've gotten into now this is how I'm doing my styling videos and I'm kind of enjoying it I think it's quite a nice way to do it a bit more relaxed um, than me standing um, and recording each and every single outfit and like posing and cutting it and chopping it here and there so I think this is a bit more of a relaxed way to do it yeah I hope you guys are enjoying them I've done a couple styling videos in this way now so yeah I'm enjoying it and I hope you guys are too so today the plan is to share with you a couple of my favorite winter and autumn jackets and um, I have a quite a I'd say medium sized collection I don't have too many but I have a good amount um, and some of them are really old, some of them are brand new, and um, so we've got quite a nice little mix in there. Um, I tend to buy maybe maximum two new jackets each year. That way I kind of am not going overboard and also it just kind of means that um, I'm not spending too much money on jackets when I don't need to. So to start off I'm going to talk you through the kind of basic outfit that I've got on here. So this is kind of just a basic outfit that I can throw on any jacket and it'll work well with it. This top that I've got on, um, this was actually a hand-me-down from a family member and they gave it to my mum and I saw it in the bag and I grabbed it just because I actually realised I don't have any long sleeve um, basic t-shirts. A lot of my basic t-shirts are kind of short sleeved so this is quite nice if I don't want to wear like a turtleneck um, and be completely covered. It's nice to still have my arms covered and it's a good way to kind of still stay warm. So yeah, I'm not actually sure where this one is from, but you can definitely get them in most shops. Um, I know H&M and Primark do basic tops like this, so um, yeah, I'll link some down below as well. So then I've just added on my probably favourite pair of jeans. Um, these are just from Zara. I got them about eight months ago now. Um, yeah, just kind of a baggy um, mom jean, kind of a balloon style at the bottom on the knees. Um, but yeah, I just love these because they're super comfortable um, and they kind of add a bit more of a relaxed look to my basic outfit um, so yeah just simple light wash denim jeans and then to finish off I've just got my docks on of course I always wear my docks with pretty much everything so yeah and then I've accessorized with just my little J necklace which you will see me wear all the time and then these little gold Primark hoops which have lasted me forever so that's the basic outfit and now let's move on to jacket number one Okay, so we're on to the first jacket. So the first one is this super oversized um, printed um, jacket and I love this. This has been with me for a good couple of years now and I found it in a little vintage shop and I've got no plans on getting rid of it. Um, it's just my ultimate favourite. I've had love and hate moments with it. I'm definitely going through a phase where I love it again. Um, I just think it's so cool. I love a jacket that is just one of a kind and that not a lot of people will be seeing in. Um, and I think for winter, it's just nice to have kind of a patterned, um, checked jacket in kind of a funky colour. That is how we can play up our outfits, um, is our jacket. So um, yeah, this is a great way to do that. So yeah, I love this one. So this is from Cow Vintage um, and I picked it up a while ago. So I can't say you'll get this exact one, but you might get one similar in there. Um, but when I saw it, I was like, that is just meant to be mine. I'm meant to have it. Yeah, I've worn it so many winters now. Um, it's just perfect. It's not too thick, but it's kind of fleecy as well. Um, but I can layer it as well if I need to put something underneath it to stay warmer but I really often don't have to do that because it's so warm and it actually goes with a lot of stuff in my wardrobe so I love that about it and I just love it. I think it's so adorable and I actually want to wear it a lot more than I have been but hopefully I can get a lot more wear out of it um, and I definitely reach for this a lot more during Christmas time um, so yeah, and I can't believe it's actually not made it in to one of my Instagram photos just yet. Um, but it will soon, I promise you. Um, but yeah, so this is jacket number one. Um, I think we should all have a patterned fun jacket in our wardrobe and this is mine. Okay, jacket number two is this one, and this is a teddy bear jacket, is what I like to call it. Um, so this was a, actually a hand-me-down from my nan. My nan was wearing this quite a lot um, about a year ago now and every time I saw it she had it on and I remember saying, Nan, when you are done with that jacket can I please have it? Um, and my nan is like the kindest person ever and she was just like, 
you can have it now so she gave me it about a year ago i felt so bad taking it off her but she has lots of jackets just like me i think i definitely get my fashion and um, my jewelry love from my nan um but yeah so this is my nan's and um, she got it from a catalogue so i don't know the name of the company but the great news is that the high street are doing so many jackets similar to this nowadays the teddy bear inspired jacket is everywhere and i saw it everywhere around a year ago and I definitely think they'll be bringing it out again this winter. Um, I love that this is navy blue. If you can't already tell, blue is definitely my colour. Blue and green um, is definitely my favourite colour for winter and autumn. I think it's super cosy. Um, what more could you want in a jacket? It's a really nice jacket just to kind of throw on and go and do some errands. You don't have to worry about being cold. Um, yeah, I just think it's really nice and I think what I like about this colour blue is it goes nice with my hair so I like that kind of combination. Um, but yeah, so cosy. Not a lot to say just because you just have to take one look at it and be like that is a beautiful jacket and it is. Um, so yeah, I am so happy that I'm actually doing this video because it's making me fall back in love with a lot of my um, old jackets. I've just got all of these out of my loft so they're a bit dusty but um, it's nice to kind of have them back out and be styling them up. So yeah, jacket number two, love it. Thank you Nan um, for this jacket, I love it. Okay, jacket number three. So this is the classic MAC jacket. And yeah, I got mine in black. I know a lot of these MACs tend to come in beige, but when I picked this one up, I just was kind of feeling the black a bit more. So this is from Primark about a year ago now. Um, and yeah, I really like it. I have to say, I haven't worn it as much as I thought I would. It's kind of nice from the transition from spring to autumn because it's not too um, thick and it is quite small this one so there's not a lot of room to kind of put a jumper underneath and um, the arms are quite tight but I still do like it and I think it's a nice little shopping jacket as well. I can't help but feel like whenever I put this on like a spy or like I don't know whenever I put it on I just feel like is it too much but I, I really like it. I think it's nice. Um, I think I could probably style it differently. I probably style it with like a white t-shirt um, rather than black. I think black does work but probably a white t-shirt or... I don't know, like just like a, a patterned top, maybe a darker pair of jeans. Um, so yeah, classic MAC and you can't really go wrong with them to be honest. They are great for adding like a scarf and a beanie with. Um, like I said, can't really layer a jumper underneath this one but I could definitely add a scarf and a beanie. I think if you haven't got a MAC in your um, jacket collection, you definitely should get one. Primark do cheap ones. I know a lot of people are kind of interested in buying more expensive MACs um, but a MAC isn't really my favourite go-to jacket, um, so I just picked up this cheap one from Primark um, just to see how, how I like it, and yeah, I do. So yeah, this was jacket number three, let's move on. Okay, jacket number four is this fake leather green jacket. Um, this I've had for, I think, around about two years now, and... Yeah, I think it's a great alternative to like a classic black leather jacket. I think it's a really nice way to kind of add a bit more colour in there. I really like this one. I think it's a great jacket for like a night out in the winter. It's kind of autumn inspired colours, um, but it's leather so it's kind of nice to kind of dress dress an outfit up a little bit. This is fake leather, not real, so don't worry there. Um, but yeah, I really like the colour of it. I think it's super nice, something different. Not a lot of people have this colour jacket, which is nice. Um, and yeah, I like it. So um, this was from Bershka. Um, I got it online a while ago now um, and I saw it and I was like, that is so cool. And yeah, I'm glad I've got it. So it also acts a kind of a bit like a shirt, like you could button it all up. Um, and have it closed which would be quite nice but this is kind of I think a really nice not a rain jacket because it's not waterproof but um I think it kind of acts as a nice maybe with a hoodie underneath it could be quite a nice walking the dog jacket maybe maybe I've got that completely wrong because I don't have a dog to walk um but with like a hoodie underneath a beanie um some more comfortable pants maybe if I got that wrong I feel like I'm styling it wrong but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, Bershka green leather jackets. Thumbs up from me. 
Okay, so I couldn't not do this video without putting this leather jacket in. Um, I know this was actually featured in my blazer collection video because I said in that video I kind of class it more as a blazer and I still do, but I do wear it a lot, um, especially in the winter because there's lots of room for layering. Um, so I thought I'd throw it in here as well and yeah, I've just been wearing it a lot lately so I thought it was makes sense to share it with you. So yeah, classic black A-line um, leather jacket from, where was this from? Urban Outfitters, um, love it. I love the um, white lining detail across it as well. I think it's a really nice effect um, and just kind of breaks it up from being a full block leather jacket. But yeah, I love the shape of this as well. It's kind of more blazer style, a little bit longer than a normal leather jacket. I feel like most leather jackets kind of are there, about there, whereas this one's a little bit longer. Um, so yeah. Love it and can't go wrong. So yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next jacket. Okay guys, on to the second to last jacket. And this one, I've got to say, is one of my ultimate favorite jackets. Um, I actually had my sister say to me the other day that she doesn't like this jacket and it made me think twice, but then I realized, no, she is not the one who does fashion on YouTube or Instagram. I am, and I think it's nice, so I'm going with it. But I've had this jacket for, I think, a year now and I love it. When I first bought it, I thought that is the exact type of jacket that I wanted for last winter. Um, so when I saw it on h and I just thought somebody had jumped in to my brain and kind of made it for me and put it on H&M for me to buy. I really envisioned a short um, beige jacket with these big kind of collar style flaps and that's what I got. I just think this is the perfect jacket for a cosy day out. If you're going pumpkin picking, which I know a lot of people do this time of year, I personally haven't been. Um, if you're going to the Christmas market, I think this is a lovely jacket to wear. Um, it's just so cosy, it just screams like winter to me um, because it's just so like big and oversized and it's got pockets and I can just walk around with my hands in my pockets, a big scarf and be good. So this is from H&M. I did see it at the end of last year back up on the website in the sale um, but I don't know if they have brought it back out. I'm not sure if they will be um, but yeah I love it. I think it's great. I remember wearing this at Christmas last year with kind of like a spotty red skirt um, and it just looked lovely. I think it's another reason why I really like it is because no matter what outfit I have I can just throw this over and it goes well um, but keeps me warm so I don't really have to worry about my styling underneath too much because the jacket is super simple and works with a lot of stuff which is great um, and yeah I love the buttons on it I feel very grown up when I wear this jacket um, which is a nice thing I think as you get older also a quick little side note this jacket is great for doing like the hair tuck um, if you do the hair tuck if you have long hair then you'll know what I mean but sometimes I like to kind of wave my hair and then tuck it in um, to my jacket and it just kind of like falls out and it looks like I've got short hair <laughs> so yeah this jacket because of the big collar is great for that um so yeah second to last jacket probably one of my top faves definitely maybe number one maybe number one um but yeah so love this let's move on to the final jacket Okay, so on to the final jacket. This year I finally decided to take the plunge and get a full length winter coat. I definitely feel like this winter and autumn the colour chocolate is in. It is everywhere. It is everywhere. It's pretty much in every format that you could think of. I've seen it in leather trousers. I've seen it in knitted jumpers and dresses and I've seen it in jackets as well. Um, oh and shoes. Lots of heels in chocolate brown. Um, but yeah, when I saw this jacket on ASOS, I thought, I think that's going to be my winter jacket for 2020. It's super oversized. It's quite really cool, I think. Super, super cozy. This is kind of a similar style to the previous one I, show, I showed you, um, with the kind of collar, flapped collar, and then the buttons, but it's just a little bit longer. So I definitely like that style a lot, as you can tell. And I just think the other one worked so well for me last year and I just thought this one will definitely do the same um, and work super well for me this year. So yeah, I'm loving it. I've worn it a fair few times lately and we're not even fully into winter yet. So I definitely can tell I'm going to get lots of wear out of it. Now I have to say I do get very, very hot in this jacket. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just 
extra thick um, material so I was wearing it out the other day and um, maybe it's too early for me to wear it it might be um, but I was wearing it out the other day and I only had it on for 15 minutes and I was sweating so maybe I should put it away for a, just a maybe a month and then get it back out in December um, and see how it is again but yeah I was very hot in it but I think that's a good sign because it just shows that it's worth every penny and um, this was from ASOS it was £80 I think which you know is a bit expensive for I think for the average person um, but I didn't mind spending it because I knew that I would get a lot of wear out of it and I have done so far and I know that I will continue to um, and I just love the colour of it I think it's beautiful so yeah last and final winter jacket okay guys so those were all my winter jackets that I will be styling up this year and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comments down below which jacket is your favorite don't forget I will link some jackets down below and I will link similar ones to the ones that aren't available down below so have a little browse for yourself and um, yeah let me know which jacket was your favorite and head over to my Instagram to see me styling all these up this autumn and winter but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to hit the subscribe button give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!